Street violence and federal indictments are expected to be recurring themes for local campaigns. This week, all candidates who plan to run for city offices need to file between four council districts that run across Jacksonville's north side and inner core. There are 29 candidates so far filed to run. These are the races where there are a lot of candidates filed on the Supervisor of Elections website. Pretty much it encompasses the north side with districts 7, 8, and 10. Violence and crime in those districts have been real issues, particularly in District 7, which encompasses the A. Philip Randolph Corridor, where we've seen a steady stream of violence. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney isn't surprised there are so many candidates. And this is right by the Jacksonville the Jaguar Stadium. You've had that core. You just have violence. Have so much violence there. Let's face it. Uh, public safety and crime is a big issue countywide, but it, particularly in those districts it is. And in answer to your question, yes. I think the people in those communities are particularly concerned about crime. Mullaney says criminal justice and sentencing guidelines will also be important on the north side. But there is another political opening specifically in districts 8 and 10. There's a power vacuum after former council members Katrina Brown and Reggie Brown were indicted on federal fraud charges. Although I spoke with Katrina Brown at her last hearing Thursday, and she hasn't ruled out running for her old seat. But Brown's alleged crime isn't what voters will focus on. It will be crime in their own neighborhoods. They're going to be talking at all their town hall meetings, all their door to door about crime. Is that what people are going to be asking about? I do believe that. I think crime is, is the number one issue. And the other council district with a lot of candidates filed is District 14 in Riverside, which has been represented by Jim Love, who will be term limited out. The deadline to file for your campaign is Friday.